Sportsters, I'm here today at Eastern Athletics in Huntington, New York to show you what is considered one of the most expensive rackets in the world. It is the Yonix Regna 100. We know it looks great, we know it's expensive, but does it play well? Stay tuned, we'll show you right now. The Yonix Regna 100 is an extremely rare, only in Japan racket with incredibly tight spec manufacturing protocol allowing for almost no deviation. The perfect specs which this racket conforms to is a 100 square inch head with a beam of 21.5 by 23 by 21 millimeters and an open 16 by 19 string pattern. The weight is 295 grams unstrung which equates to 10.4 ounces and a swing weight of 318 making it three points head light and putting the balance point at the 13 inch mark. It is a standard 27 inches long with a firmer stiffness of 65. The factory grip is Yonix leather and the cosmetic is a stunning smoky gray featuring elaborate inscriptions and accents. This racket is one of two in a limited production run where the other option is a slightly heavier and smaller head Regna 98. We decided to string this luxurious racket with only the best, natural gut at 53 pounds, which was a fitting pair of the most expensive string to the most expensive racket. So stay tuned to the end of this video where you can learn more about the price. But before even hitting this racket on court, you can sense the beauty of the racket in your hand and it was a real head turner as people kept asking about the racket, wanting to see it and loads of other questions. Instantly, the word that came to mind when playing this racket is crisp. The sensory feeling of the racket paired with the high quality natural gut and the leather grip made me feel super connected to the shots like the racket was an extension of my arm. The firmness of the frame gave me untapped power potential on all of my ground strokes, yet it did not feel abrasive. It was quick and maneuverable through the air as it's nearly the thinnest variable beam made by Yonix. Slices were buttery smooth while switching ground strokes between spin and flat shots became seamless. The sweet spot was massive and I mean even bigger than the already enhanced isometric sweet spot which is larger than all competing brands in the 100 square inch range. I don't usually mention serves on our racket test but the setup of this racket allowed me to hit absolute rockets. I typically play at 50% in my racket reviews as I'm so focused and learning as much as I can about the racket rather than competing. But after filming, I had to take the racket back on court and hit a basket of serves, which seemed to be probably my best serves in years. Yonix has truly maximized all the best features on a racket in the Regna, which makes the racket shine in all the best ways. I was serving bigger, more consistent off the ground, laser precise at net, fully connected to the feel, plush on the massive sweet spot, and any amount of spin was just natural. Balling with this racket was once again crisp. How else can you explain that clean response feeling back to the player? You get a heightened sense of pace coming at you, you feel the awareness for the amount of spin imparted on the ball, you have complete perception of contact on the string bed and even more with the sensory feel racket. The balance was perfect on the volley, providing stability on even the lowest of shots. I could place the ball on a dime on the other side of the net confidently. If Pete Sampras had this racket for grass, he probably would have a couple more majors as it creates the ultimate response. This racket is the 
perfect fit for any racket collector or tennis enthusiast. It's hard to take it to competition as you probably won't have a backup, and the near $600 unstrung elite price makes it a bad option for beginners. Forgetting those limitations, it's perfect for an all-quarter rated 3.5 or higher with classic to eastern grip styles and an appreciation for feel or touch that we haven't seen since maybe Marcelo Rios or Fabrice Santoro. Whether you frame it on the wall or keep it in your tennis bag for special occasions like a fine wine, you can't help but sense the craftsmanship, attention to detail, and quality in this racket. I don't necessarily recommend going out and buying one after seeing this video, but certainly taking it for a test drive like a classic car is something that everyone should enjoy. Thank you for watching the video. We have new ones coming to you every week, so hit that subscribe button. Normally I'd tell you to pick one up, but they're so hard to find, so maybe check out some of our other videos and find another racket that's probably not in the $700 range. Thanks.